Hello and good evening. Hello, Delhi. Hi. Good to see you all. As Shakespeare said, welcome, masters. Welcome, good friends. Glad to see thee well. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome to the grand launch of Times Lit Fest Delhi. Welcome to this big kickoff of our fest, which happens later in the year, in November. And I can't think of a grander launch than this. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for once again emphasizing that Delhi loves books. This is going to be Delhi's Lit Fest, Delhi ka Lit Fest. And thank you so much for coming in your numbers. It really is in the fitness of things that Delhi is getting a literary festival. Our city of Delhi, the national capital, the city we love, has changed so rapidly over time. There was a time when Delhi was seen as a kind of mofasil, overgrown village, and sophisticated people from Bombay sneered at Delhi, saying, oh, well, you know, Delhi's really not the happening place at all. As Nizamuddin Olia said, as he prophesied, who knows Delhi durast, he told Gyasuddin Tughlaq, saying, you will never reach Delhi. Delhi is far away. Delhi hasn't arrived yet. But I think I can say with confidence that Delhi has arrived. Delhi has arrived as a city which is changing every day and is throwing out new forms every day. As a Delhi Wali born and bred, I must say that I've always been a little hurt, a little upset at the stereotypes about Delhi. That Delhi is a city of babus, it's a city of netas, it's a city of cutthroat politics, and uh, it's a sort of Byzantine place of intrigue. It's not really a fun city. And when people say this, I think, but haven't you taken a walk down to Ghantaghar? And haven't you sat in the winter sunshine by Humayun's tomb? And have you not gone for a walk in Lodi Gardens, or visited Tughlaqabad, or gone to Bengali market and had Chole Bhature? There's an indescribable, quiet, almost invisible charm about Delhi, which if you walk around, you'll see, and you'll sense, and you'll think, this is not the city the stereotype makes it out to be. There's a whole different charm here, which a lot of people don't see. Sometimes, you know, when I'm driving home from work and I'm driving past the Purana Kela and I look at the Purana Kela and it's beautifully lit up. And in the shadows, I sometimes try and imagine that there is a sultan standing, looking to see as if the city still remembers him. So this is the city redolent with history. Delhi is Indraprastha, the capital in the Mahabharata of the Pandavas. It's redolent and evocative of history. It's a city of poets. Of course, Delhi should have a literary fest because poets have lived and breathed here. Mirza Ghalib, Amir Khusro, Zok, they've all lived and made Delhi their home. It's a city about which Zok wrote, Kaun jai Zok Dilli ki galiya chhod kar. So those who say that Delhi lacks a literary tradition are ignoring this huge corpus that exists and has always existed in Delhi, which we perhaps don't see. It's a uniquely cosmopolitan city. I'm so proud of Delhi. Delhiites come out in their numbers for protest marches, for campaigns, for issues that concern the citizenry. It's always Delhi that takes the lead. I'm so proud of this city. Of course, this city deserves a literary fest. This city deserves to celebrate itself and celebrate that it's always been a center of ideas. In fact, Delhi has always been the center of debate. Because if you think about it, when modern India began at the inception of our republic, where did the great debates on the economy take place? They took place in the Delhi School of Economics. The great debates between VKR V. Rao and PC Mahalanobis, between Jagdish Bhagwati and Amartya Sen. What kind of economy is the new India going to have? Is it going to have the market-friendly economy, or is it going to have a planned economy? These debates took place at the Delhi School. History at the Indian Council of Historical Relations. What is the history that should be written about Delhi? History from below, or history of the elites? Is history nationalist? Is it leftist? Is it rightist? These are all the debates that have taken place in Delhi. Teen Murthy which was made into a great center of debate by the great liberal scholar Ravindra Kumar, who brought 
scholars from all across the world in India to talk about what it means to be modern and Indian. Does Indianness mean westernization? Does modernity mean westernization? Can we not have an Indian modernity? What is the ingredient of the Indian modern? What is the Indian classical? What is the Indian future? These were all the debates that were had in places like the Inmurti. And today, even at the India International Center, you have debates from climate change to gender empowerment. It's an intellectual hub that exists and yet is often unrecognized. Leftists, rightists, nationalists, Marxists, Naxalites, free marketeers, everyone has a place in Delhi. And everyone is here to celebrate the spirit of ideas. And that's what we want to bring alive at the festival. The ideas, the churning, the power of ideas to talk to each other. Everyone has to have their space and everyone needs to go forward. So it's extremely appropriate that we're having this literary fest in Delhi and that Delhi is at last getting a chance to once again renew its role renew its place as a city of poetry, as a city of debate, and as a city of cultural capital, and a city of cultural striving. I'm very grateful to Upamanyu Chatterjee, Rahul Bose, Pritish Nandi, Amish for being here, for making this such a wonderful launch event, and for making it really special for all of us, because this is really a grand launch event, and it really sets the tone for the festival, which, as you know, takes place on the 28th, 29th, and 30th of November. True to the spirit of the Times of India, this is a people's festival. So we're encouraging young people to participate in our Write India contest, so you can partner with a writer and actually write your own novel, begin your own journey in novel writing with an established author. This is the Write India Initiative. So once again, welcome. Welcome to Indraprastha. Welcome to the city of Mirza Ghalib, of Amitav Ghosh, of Arundhati Roy, of the great debaters of early modern India. Thank you for coming. Welcome and enjoy. Have a lovely evening. And please don't forget, please do come to our literary festival, which is on the 28th, 29th, 30th of November. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much. Welcome again.